all the people, all the friends, when I was really teenage, called me sunshine, tippy light, tippy, uh, you look like the sun. So that was my uh, uh, first motivate to work with light. I worked at a, at a small lighting manufacturer in the Netherlands, and then uh, I get infected by, by light, I get inspired by light, and choose to, to study uh, further in, in light and uh, devote my, uh, my uh, working career on it. And now it's 25 years I'm working in, in lighting and 20 years teaching now, so that is, uh, that's a long time. My first contact with lighting was 1985, when I was a student at the Bartlett. And I was a student with um, David Lowe, who was my professor of lighting at the time. So he was really enthusiastic about lighting and he transmitted this passion for lighting. I've been interested by light since a long time ago, but uh, it's mainly when I was in Japan uh, doing my PhD. Uh, researches and, and so on uh, that were that were about uh, uh, light uh, on, on the facade of the buildings and so on as a mean of uh, uh, communicating. I like the effect of wall washer when, especially on a facade, with the texture. That that feeling is really amazed me uh, because it shows the beauty of the texture uh, with light. That's really what I like uh, as effect. My first approach to lighting, and uh, maybe at the time I was not so much aware that it was lighting. For me, it was more architecture. But uh, after getting into, into lighting design, then of course uh, you start to see the things in a different way. I learned uh, photography and began uh, early to build my own light shapers and old, uh, own light sources as uh, light brush uh, things and experiments with flashlights and so on. That was my approach to light. I think it's for the future very necessarily in, uh, in photography to uh, care about light. The first picture I took was uh, from this uh, patio between buildings. You know, this uh, is this place where you where people used to leave the clothes to you know, to get uh, dry. It was you know this angle composition from from down and at the end was the sky and it was this graduation of light uh, turning into shade, you know, like a fade. That lighting is really uh, an incredible profession where uh, different fields come together and I think um, because I'm an enthusiastic uh, person and, and my enthusiasm for um, light is big so uh, maybe I can transfer that. I think inspiration is the most important thing to, to do as, as a teacher. So I use um, uh, pictures of James Turrell and uh, Dan Flavin and uh, Richard Kelly, of course, uh, as, as methods of education. But, so that's the way I try to inspire the, uh, the students. I show them pictures of an early morning light, which is, I think, there's nothing more beautiful than opening a window and seeing a bright, clear sky. So I think that's something that gives you happiness and I think that light gives happiness at the same time and it's like music and it's something which is with us. I would show a picture where we see the effect of light and not the source to tell them lighting is not about the luminaire, it's about the effect of light. That would be a rainbow, that's a, a very simple method to present the magic of light. You don't have an ending to either side, it's an arch and the rainbow is something that makes people happy all the time. I would prefer to, to show a picture from the nature, uh, but I really have a favorite uh, painting from Caravaggio, San Thomas, and I think it really expresses the, the quality of light and directionality and contrast and uh, vividness and how to be realistic but also it, it, it reflects the, the curiosity that the students should have by, by going to, into, the, into detail and trying to look and, and make it and realize if it's real or not. I'm trying to learn new teaching methods. 
how did you develop something, how are you going to set up a program, and that is uh, a thing I, I like to learn in this, this week. So I, I don't have a lot of experience, but, but I am quite uh, curious about how do they face or, you know, or challenge the, the meeting with uh, students and the techniques or, and the approach they use. Usually in symposium and so on, they are always the same people. And, uh, and here, I have new friends. That's why I'm here. So when you ask me why I'm here, for business and pleasure. <laughs>